Hello and welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. I'm you ever think Nick. about changing it up and not saying it in the exact same way every single time? With like the office didn't. Hello have... and welcome, like every time, every single time. That's what a show is like. Da na na da na 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 da na 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 na. What they have a different theme song every. I mean the the I guess the Wire did it every season. What's wrong with my intro? You do one. Nick. It's just, you know, you could just say you it You do one. You could just say it differently. Just give me an example. It's just fucking, hey, hey, how's it going, guys? It's Wednesday, October 25th, uh, 225 p.m. And that was really the IDF good. has just murdered okay, the family. Okay, uh, really of good. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Al Jazeera journalist Whale Al Dudu's family has been murdered. How... Al Dadu, whale, whale, Al Dadu. Right. You made fun of a guy who just lost. His I'm just, tr- I'm struggling you, you to read. Fucked his name. Yeah, you just fucked his name. I'm, str- I'm a morning man. Struggling to read. All right, so that's that's a. I mean, Nick. Could, well, you just tried to silence me. So I don't understand why. As soon as I brought it you up, you called a guy that just lost his entire. Well, family I said the I, As soon you as called I called him Al Dudu. As soon as I said the IDF is murdered, you said, "All right, I." What? You, as, I mean, it's on the record. I just said that it's 2.25 p.m. and the IDF has just murdered this man's family. And you said, all right, all right. All right. You wanted me to stop speaking. So you, I was kind of flustered because you were silent. Because I knew that you were about to call him poo-poo. No. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, and you managed to offend both sides. So congratulations. No, I did. I, Rachel Dole First of all, I didn't call him that. Conflict. I'm trying to read his name while being silenced by you. I'm not being silenced. I'm just saying. Do you not want to talk about that? I mean, we don't have to if you'd like to. You want to talk about this guy's fan? What? Did you see this? Yeah, you just showed it to me 20 seconds before we started Yeah, I know. But, I mean, do you not want to talk about it? It's fine. If... Wait, are you, like, claiming that I'm trying, like, uh, what? That I'm, I don't want to talk about uh, an incredibly tragic thing that happened? Well, I don't know. It seemed like you just. Why? Because of, because uh, I'm a J- Jewish person? You're the one saying it. I'm not saying it. No, I mean, but you're, like, weren't making eye contact. You were a little bit, like, looking to the side. That was a little bit of an anti-Semitism face. An anti, it's like Pixar face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a DreamWorks face. It's anti-Semitism face. All right, so R.I.P. to the Al Jazeera fam- guy's family. It is pretty wild. It's crazy. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. The video is crazy. Where he's like, uh, well, because an- just showed me. There's another headline with with Blinken bragging that he went to fucking Qatar and told them to tell Al Jazeera to tone down their fucking uh, reporting on on the bombings. Blinken did that. Yeah, and Blink- they said okay. I don't know what they said, but I mean, to to go like I mean, it's just the. Have the, you seen that video of him playing guitar? The great Satan of the West is just taking L after L after L. Mm. You're talking about um, what's his name? The United, Ricky Gervais. The oh, United no. States oh, okay. of America. Sorry, United States. Western uh, Western hegemony. That was so funny when Ahmadinejad spoke at the UN right after Bush, and he's like, "I still smell the sulfur from Satan's speech." <laughs> Did he say that? Yeah, he's like, I can still smell the sulfur. Yeah. Um, oh, guys, before we begin the episode, we're gonna we're gonna be covering did, all the topics today. We did before begin we begin the episode, the episode October twenty seventh, this weekend, and twenty eighth, Seattle, Washington, Laughs Comedy Club. There, it's gonna sell out, guys. There are very few tickets left. Get on it. If there even is still a shut. Seattle at the. Oh. What? Why, why do you keep every time I go to speak? You're like, shut up. I thought my re- react re- my reflex. Was that you were gonna be like, it's gonna not be funny, and uh, and you're a loser if you go to that show. No, the only thing Seattle really had was Jimmy I Hendrix. Guess, well, Ken Griffey Jr. and uh, Frazier and Jimmy Hendrix, Frazier and uh, Grunge. Anyways, but the Frazier reboot is dog shit. Mm. It is. Yeah. Who is it? It's a. Uh, it's, it's what the the kid is goth now. They're I don't know. Freddie. I don't know. Who cares? Is there a reason? So what's the latest with the war? That's the only thing. And that's all anybody's talking about. That's all they want to hear about. Mm-hmm. So we'll stay. We'll stay on. Well, um, I don't know. I because it's tough because like the genocide. We've got two lists now. You are like fed kind of the information that the algorithm tailors to you, and so I'm not. I don't have an account. All, 
all I see is Ben Shapiro and Michael Rappaport. And so, mm-hmm. like, that's my version of the war. Michael Rappaport is the best one to go to right now. He's he is he's killing it. Yeah. What the bum bum bing? Well, he has that video like, where, he where has the he has bum bum bing. He has like the information. Uh, I mean, he is like a famous New York Post commentator. You know, he's like a he comment- is a remnant of he's the like, old New York kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just where all of his information is just like just the like like the kind of i mean he might if they're like he, he might as well think santa claus is real <laughs> you know it's like that it's like a cartoon explanation yeah, yeah. of like the history of the middle east yeah well i mean he's as scared as i am about well he's scared about the same thing that i'm scared of oh, what's right? that with with the impending wave of anti-semitism that will grow mm-hmm. in, inevitably out of uh the instability yeah, but they, you know the answer okay. to that but, is for is for for judaism to go back to its its roots which is what which is based in like ritual the, and pogrom. Uh, well no not pogrom I mean, i'm talking thousands of years ago we uh, you know like what you need to do is you put a big dish outside of uh, pick any synagogue in america and then we get Meghan McCain, and we drape her over it, and we slit her throat, and drain all of her blood, and, oh, what, what, and then okay. boil it. Oh, you're saying like a like a sacrificial, like a pig, yeah. If we well, you don't sacrifice pigs in the temple. Actually, there were animal sacrifices outside. There. Yeah, outside, you don't bring Meghan McCain in there. I mean, that would be that would be anti-Semitism. I feel like Jews in that temple would walk outside, and they wouldn't be like. I guarantee. I feel you. like they wouldn't be like. Thank you. If we got a video of a rabbi slitting Megan no, McCain's come, throat and, okay. and and burning her blood outside, why Megan then, McCain? I don't. That's <laughs> if, if I when I imagine a beast being sacrificed, that's what pops into my head. <laughs> if we had a video of that, I guarantee you it would forestall any anti-Semitism for at least okay. for, at least five hundred years. Returning to my point about Rappaport, mm-hmm. I don't tend to agree with him about any of this crap. About mm-hmm. the war in the Middle East, but him and I, I can look into his eyes and yeah. I can see that he's afraid of the. Can same. you? I don't think anybody can anymore. His fucking old face. Kind of like this. He's a little bit like this. Okay, yeah. but when I see him, right? When I see him do his uh, front-facing camera. I told you I was standing right there when him and Ari Shavir got into the oldest man fist fight I've ever seen in my life. Jews tearing each other down. I was ta- I was standing there talking to Ari, and Michael Rabbo right walks right. up and he's like, "Hey, are you are you Ari Shafir? And he's like, "Yeah." And he's like, um, he was like, he was like, do you know who I am? And fucking Mari's like, yeah, of course. Super boy. And then he's like, he's like, you say I beat women? And then like, Ari was like, yeah, don't you? Does he? And uh, I don't know. He had his like ex-wife had a restraining order or something. Oh, okay. But you got to hear both sides on that. Yeah. So Ari said that he, and then, and then they started like, you know. Rap horse. Were they slap boxing? Well, I mean, they're both fucking 75 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and Ari's not that old. Yeah, he? He's like 40. He's older than you think he is. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Ari was already like famous when I was 12. When you were 12? Yeah. That, like Amazing Race's shit came out way, way back when. What? He was on The Amazing Race? No, Amazing Racist. It was these videos he did where he'd like round up it. day laborers and then drive to INS and blast the horn or... Pretty mean. Yeah, it was pretty mean. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say sorry for that? Uh, I don't know. Are you though? What are you doing? Well, it was a long time ago. It was That's twenty not years. Funny. Ago. What? Like to laugh at them or something? What? That's like that's like bum fights level content. Well, you're gonna go after him? You? Well, I just didn't even know about this. You crap. purchased sex slaves. I don't know why you'd go after. I him never for... purchased sex slaves. Oh. All right. What are you the fucking? What are you? T- well, you're going after Ari, a friend of ours. For for doing a yes a tasteless you ex- you describe something that was that sounded very mean that I'd never I'd never okay heard. but I'm just saying glass listen, houses we got we got you, listen we're both you're, you're coming in hot today. we're brothers we're brothers you're coming in listen, hot today we're brothers we of are, the mic we're brothers of the you're stupid. coming you're coming in hot today saying we're not gonna bring up the okay murder listen journalist. wait I I can't even get my Michael Rappaport point apart uh, we're not across. gonna we're not gonna mention that we're 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 gonna I've, I've no you started I'm going to blink no route. you popped you popped off. Immediately so when I said sense? hello and welcome to the Adam Freeland Show podcast, and you I said, said maybe are you going to fucking do, do it the it same way every time? And then do I said, what little, is it? And then you, you were like, do it a little bit different is all I'm saying. I'm it's just saying I thought that if you have a consistent format, then people feel like you're reliable. You're censoring, you're censoring right off the gate censoring. And then what was the last thing you just did? Oh, yeah. You accused Ari of buying sex slaves. When that's what you have done yourself. All Three right. things okay, right great. there. 
I just said it, but you describing taking a, an a undocumented immigrant to INS as a prank sounds kind of mean. It's, it sounds kind of a little bit mean, no? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I didn't bring it up. I'm sorry, I should. I just said that. You that brought used... it up. I didn't even know what it was. I thought you were talking about the fucking uh, CBS show, The Amazing Race. No, no. Legitimately, I did. He had a series called The Amazing Racist. I don't know what it was on, but I've, I mean, I've, I've been aware of Ari Shapiro. It was on television. I don't remember. I've been aware of Ari Shapiro right. since like 2002. Okay. My main point about Michael Rappaport is this, right? He's going one side, I'm going the other side. We don't agree on the politics of this situation, right? We don't agree on the morality of this situation. But him and I are both afraid of the same thing. Megan McCain. No! Oh. With the inevitable impending wave of anti-Semitism that will come, no matter what happens, uh-huh. people are going to be hot. They're going to be tight at Jews after this, right? Are they? Will they? I think so. They already are. Who? It seems like Everyone. the only people actually criticizing Israel are Jews. It's just because we live in Brooklyn, so we think it's everybody. I'm the just... rest of the country is all Christian psychos that are like, kill all the Muslims now. Kill them right now. Uh, you're Israel's right. finally okay. doing the job. Okay. The Jews are finally good. Okay, so I'm not saying it's an inevitability, but yeah. if, if that is a fear that uh, Rappaport and I have, the only reason we have that fear is what? Well, Michael Rappaport's... Uh, you know, I think I mean, he's like. We might lose something. He has Alzheimer's. We might lose something that both that is important to both of us. Um. The World Series. No. I don't, what? I don't. Being a hip hop style Jew. Oh, okay. If we're not allowed to do that anymore, mm. if I'm not allowed to, to like, the NBA and hip hop, because people are reevaluating the Jews. That well, would he, be painful he, for he me, gets, and it would be painful for. He gets Rapport. away with it because he's a relic from the early. I don't 90s. think he gets away with it. I think people he laugh does. at him. About yeah, it. I know, but I mean, he gets away with it because he's a '90s guy. Yeah, I don't even see him as a hip hop style Jew. I think of him as '90s. He's a '90s guy. His entire thing is being a hip hop style Jew. If like I could, if I saw him hanging out with the Seven Up Dot, you know, remember that guy. Or the Noid from Pizza Hut, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. I wouldn't interpret that as me having like a stroke that I would see living cartoon characters. I would think, oh yeah, there's Michael Rappaport and his friends, the Hawaiian Punch mascot. I think your brain is just like, uh, it's like, '90s Rappaport dot Noid. Yeah, right, exactly. I think I don't like. I think it's like, uh, I think it's like a uh, free associating. Everyone sees Michael Rapport as a, a 50-year-old man who still talks in hip-hop slang. Right, like, uh, right. Was, was like David Faustino. I don't think they know. Who's that? Uh, David Faustino from uh, Married with Children. Bud? Mm-hmm. He talks like that? Yeah, he, he was a rapper. So sad. It was him, Scott Kahn, Michael Rapaport. Who else? Rude Jude. Seth Green. Rude Jude has a book out. No, Seth Green was never like that. Seth Green was more of like a neon colored guy. Oh, like a yeah. like Coachella style. Well, not even Coachella. He's like my association with Seth Green is uh, he was created by the color palette of 1998. Scott. Yeah. Scott. Yeah. Every day I think of him and I think of yeah like hot orange and. Day like glow, slime green, yeah, 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 like a like a, sort of a like a snowboard uh-huh. color, yeah, if that makes sense. But anyways, that's, anyway, all I'm saying is this: yeah. Rapport is is deflecting because he's afraid of the same thing I'm afraid of, mm-hmm. which is that we can't be hip hop style anymore. Well, what I want to happen is that I want it to be taken away from the Indian guys. No, they're getting away with murder right mm-hmm. now. <laughs> it's insane. I see the way they're allowed to. My internal dialogue is that. Uh-huh. But I know that if I speak in that manner, people are going to think I'm an absolute joke. Yeah. But those those lads, mm-hmm. they're allowed to go full hip-hop style. They are. Anyway. I'm sorry, it, Nicholas. What? You know, we we needn't be contentious for our, for our friends that are watching the show right now. We, we needn't ha- like be uh, prickly. What are you talking about? 
I got defensive because you were telling me that my introductions to the show were bad, and then it devolved into something else. I don't it know. doesn't have anything well, to do with the today's war. Today's episode is brought to you by right. the war. The war. Beam. Beam. Today's episode is brought to you by Beam, and they they uh, they sent us this stuff. I am to understand that Beam is um, it's a type of like a supplement deal, which I'm actually excited to take this. I wanted to do the unboxing on the show. Okay. Um, well, you you can. But this is sort of just the box that it was mailed in, so I don't know if this is really part of their. I mean, I guess it is, but this is just sort of just a regular cardboard box you get in the mail. This seems to be the real. Well, it's, it has words inside of it. The real packaging. Okay, um, let's let's open that cocksucker up. No, well, there's powder in here, so you don't want to. Oh, let's do a couple bumps of beam. All right. So, did you know that poor sleep can cause weight gain, mood issues, poor mental health? and lower productivity, and that sleeping less than six to seven hours per night is linked with, uh, with reduced white blood cell count. And what are white blood cells, Nick? That's uh, when you get AIDS. So, uh, I think that's T cells. Yeah, something like that. Something with that. White blood cells protect our body against illness and disease. Uh, they fight viruses and bacteria, and they're, they're good. So that Beam believes that the white ones are good. So sleep is the foundation of our mental and physical health and performance in our days. Having a consistent nighttime routine is not negotiable, okay? Much like uh, with terrorists, you, is not neg- you cannot negotiate. Anyway, introducing Beam Dream. Nick, show them this beautiful item. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, like a little smoothie. You know we've you been it, raving it, about Beam's Dream Powder every night before and their bed. healthy hot cocoa for sleep. As you know, what is this? This is nice. I'm going to explain it. Okay. As you oh, know, as, as as an anti-Semite, before bed every night, I have a nice warm glass of buttermilk. That's sort of uh, that's the move. Why? I don't know. I just imagine that's what the Nazis did. They have a nice hot, boiling hot glass of buttermilk. And now, if you were with the Nazis right now, they would laugh at you. Oh, uh, would they? They'd be like, "This guy is a joke. He thinks this is about milk." It is about milk. Wait till he finds out. You know they loved milk. They probably drank hot milk all the time. They're just doing Adderall, dude. Yeah. That's all it was. Um, you put this in a, uh, you know, in hot milk. Can I get that thing? This is an immersion blender. Can I have it? No, you can't. Why? Because we we're trying to explain what this is. But like for after this. Yeah. Because it's nice for coffee and stuff. All right. Here are some of the benefits. Do you want to keep reading? I'm explaining what's going on. You keep inter- interrupting me and saying, what? saying no. What did I say no to? I said, I'm trying to explain it. You say, can I have that? How's that no? But I'm Because I'm just explaining what it is, and you're asking to take things from me. Yeah, but how's that no? Fine. You know what? Go ahead. Do ha- You do have it. Please. Enjoy. Yeah, but you're gonna like. In six you're gonna tell me I'm wrong about no, the milk thing. No, but I know you. You're like I know the kind of guy you are, and in six months you're gonna remember that I asked you for you're this. You're gonna tell me I'm wrong and about you're like and milk and also you're trying to check me on my and also you asked me for that like a that little immersion blender thing for for coffees. And this is based on what this is based on is you giving me as a gift that Kim Jong Un painting. And then taking it back from Sammy had Sammy stole it. It's in Connecticut. Oh, Sammy stole it. No, no, but I have did, it. No, no, I'll give it back. No, and no. How did Sammy get? I'll it? get it back to you. And how did his, Sammy get it? Because he had to scan it. Because I insurance. don't remember him coming to my fucking house and taking it. How did Sammy get it? What's the last gift you get? How How did Sammy get it? Actually, I know the last gift you get. How did Sammy get it? He got it because he had to scan it for the shirt. How did he get it I from gave me? I it to him. And how did it get from me to him? I said, I need to scan these for shirts that I'm selling. And then you took it from me, a gift. It's not acceptable. Me. Okay, add this to the list, Nick. I don't care about that list. fucking thing. Yeah, you do, dude. I'm trying to talk about my nighttime milk, and you're like, oh, that's wrong. That's not what happened. No, you said that the Nazis drank buttermilk before bed every night. And you said that's not true. What do you want this for? Your clit? Sorry, Beam. Anyway, um, introducing Beam Dream. You know, we've been raving about Beam's Dream Powder and their healthy hot cocoa for sleep. So this is a hot cocoa you could have that makes you nai-nai. It makes your nai-nai a little bit. If you're tai-tai, you could nai-nai, mm-hmm. you know? 
It's nice. And you can have your baba with a hot cocoa, and then you can nai nai. Yeah. It's, it's kind of nice. You know what would be nice, Nick? Why? If, like, one time, like, uh, we tucked each other into bed. Yeah. Yeah. I got a really bad headache now. I think from either too much Auntie Anne's or not enough. That's why I can't wait to take this stuff. We should, honestly, what we should do is I should take some of it on the show and then fall asleep, and you can finish the rest of the episode yeah, by yourself. Ahead. Try. Mix it up. Well, I don't have any milk. Um, Dream contains a powerful all-natural blend of reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, melatonin, and nano-CBD to help you fall asleep and stay asleep and wake up refreshed. Honestly, I'm going to give that to my girlfriend. She has sleep issues. Hemp extract, maltodextrin, quilaha, saponaria extract. Oh, that's some good shit. What's quilar, quilara, saponaria? Dude, you've never had that? No. That's pathetic. Anyway, today my listeners get a... Sp- our listeners. Sorry for saying my. It's our listeners. Get a special... Discount on Beam's Dream Powder, their best-selling healthy hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. Sleep now, stages, onset, stage one, stage two, transition, stage three, deep sleep, stage four, REM sleep. Okay. Reishi and melatonin can impact REM sleep. Michael Stipe style. Uh, now available What is in- reishi? Some kind of Japanese fucking I think thing? it's a mushroom. It's a mushroom? I think. Maybe I'm not right. Um, Now available in delicious flavors like sea salt caramel, cinnamon cocoa, and chocolate peanut butter. Better sleep has never tasted better. A recent clinical study revealed that Dream helped 93% of users wake up feeling more refreshed, and 93 reported, the the same number is amazing, that Dream helped them get a more restful night's sleep. Just mix Dream Beam into hot water or milk, stir froth, and enjoy before bedtime. Um, find out why Forbes, the New York Times, are all talking about Beam. I might do that because I've only I've only been sleeping about four and a half hours. Yeah, ago. that's way, and it's not negotiable, dude. You need a better nighttime routine. Um, and why it's trusted by the world's top athletes and business professionals. I consider us to be in that class. If you want to try Beam's best-selling dream powder and get forty percent off, that's that's maybe one of the biggest discounts we've ever offered. That's insane. Get 40% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash taps. I wonder if they have a tub. Like a bathtub? No, like a tub of powder rather than a pouch. Oh, like uh, as a product. I like having... It's better like sitting on the shelf. All right, I like having yeah, my right. tubs up above the I like fridge. that. I like that, actually. Everybody um, can see all my tubs arrayed. Yeah, go through my tubs. Yeah, there's my there's my little protein tub and my yeah. sleepy tub. When you hit him with that promo code, right? I just did. Oh. Uh, shopbeam.com slash Tafts and use... The hot water's not working, but... Oh. We're not going to... He's going to go to sleep. We have to shoot after that. Uh, yeah, I don't... Don't sorry. put him to sleep. You're drugging I, Nick. What, are you trying to sexually assault our friend? Hey, easy. I stood up for you. Easy, pal. I will never stop standing up for you, Nick. He's re- he's, anyway, he's so re- use code Tafts at checkout. That's shopbeam.com slash Tafts and use code Tafts for up to 40% off. That sounds fucking great, dude. Journalist family. Let's see if there's any more n- new details on that. You're just reading death all day. Yeah, that's what that's what modern dating is. <laughs> that's what <laughs> Yeah. That's what hinge is all that's about. That's what just dating is now. Um oh, I should also say that Beam is a functional wellness brand that makes products for have I, mentioned, have I mentioned this on the show yet? So obviously we've been really into the Pakistani memes targeting Hindus. I don't think we've actually talked about them. Uh, that's probably, I mean, they're amazing. They're really cooking right now. They're the really funny. But something that's been shocking to me, and this is something that interests me quite a bit, is in a lot of the Pakistani-generated memes that go after Hindus for supporting Israel, the Indian guys are always portrayed with stink lines over them, or that, that they're stink. That they smell bad, which is uh, I f- feel kind of vindicated in having made stinky jokes, and because in, it's not a broad thing, you're just not going to go with anything today. You're gonna, I'm just you're going to fucking you zero out. everything out. What was it? My face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, okay. No. Congratulations. No, that's fine. You're mad at me. What do you mean vindicated? What do I what what's the what's the appropriate response? 
No, then. You're right. Never mind. What's the I'm appropriate not, response? I'm not vindicated. I'm you're, you're saying stinky for Palestine. No, that's not what I'm saying. You're telling us you're saying it smelled crazy in there for Palestine. No. <laughs> no. What did a, I say? It's a conversation we already had. We uh, we were in. We had this off mic. Yeah, yeah. No, you're well, the memes are quite incredible. Mm-hmm. The one with the guy covered in poo using the computer. Yeah. Saying because I brought this up and then you said that's crazy because they both stink. No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. No, we'll just say with the conversation like because Pakistan. You said Pakistani people stink also, and I said no, they don't. That's what's that's what's funny. Obviously, it's like if these Pakistani guys think it's just, well, no, I mean I you're said they all stink. That's what you said. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that I, that was how the conversation went. And then I bring this up, and you're staring at me like I'm. Like you said I'm you saying, feel vindicated. In, I feel vindicated. You feel vindicated in because I feel like it would be racist to say there's like make jokes about stink lines and and Hindus if you meant it in a way that was just broadly generalizing an entire group of people. There's a specific Hindu odor that you're not talking about. (laughs) You're not talking about. If the Pakistani guys know. Yeah, they're mortal enemies. Of course they're saying they stink. Because Pakistani people don't have that smell, whatever it is. And is there food? Have you smelled them? Yes. Who? That's the main way tell you can me tell what? the difference. Stop it. Stop it. You said it. What? This is what I mean. You're trying to throw me. I in never the, said you're that. To, you're trying to. You're trying to fucking just. just but why uh, is that a victory lap for you instead of something that's funny? Because two guys that are pissed at each other are calling each other like smelly and saying that the other guys. Because I would feel food. bad about it if I was saying, "Oh, these guys stink," and I meant. But you're making it about yourself. You're like, well, I, I was just because then it is a, a it is a. A considerate, maybe not nice, but a considerate and and knowing observate cultural observation. You know what I mean? Making a joke. I don't think that that's. I don't think that that's wrong. You know, like if you understand like a a very slight cultural difference, that's not. That's just observing something. Yeah. And I've also said I've been on the record saying this. I don't think Indian people stink. I think they have a unique smell, which is this is that should be fine to say. So are you like, like um, taking like up arms with the Pakistanis? I'm not taking up arms with the Pakistanis. I'm saying that them pointing this out is all right. Whatever you're gonna pretend like. <laughs> I'm not. An hour ago, you're like, Pakistani people stink. I literally did you not say that. Literally I literally that. did not say that. You literally said that word for Now you're still, now that it's, now you're trying to fucking like make it seem like I'm making some point that I'm not. No, the point you're making is that you've seen Pakistani memes in response to Hindu nationalists support for, for Palestine. And that, and, Pakistan, one, yeah. and that Pakistan is uh, do, counter-memeing them and they're cooking them, mm-hmm. which for effect is happening. But oftentimes the theme of these memes is that they that they the Hindu nationalists smell like doo doo, and your response not even to that, that they smell like doo doo, but there's and one of them the one, one of them your is covered in one, poo, and they're that's and one that of them. he's which using the, the computer, that, which is also covered in poo. That might not even be an indication of a smell thing. It could just be oh, this guy's just covered in shit using the computer. It would smell crazy in there. There's the other. It one. It would smell crazy in there if the guy was uh, in the computer lab. There's a different one. <laughs> it's cool. There's a different one where a guy just has stink lines coming off of him. Yeah, like a yeah, like a what do you call it? Like a pig pen. Yeah, and again too, you're trying to, trying to, trying to uh, sell me up the river here, but uh, you made my a, point. You made a point independently that said that that is good for you. I feel vindicated. <laughs> Because then it's a, it, <laughs> Come on. it's indicative of like a a a a subtle cultural difference. It's not that it's two people. Because with I've nukes. never said I've never said it's two people with nukes pointed at each other. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying no. I'm you, actually, say, you're the one that smells not, like poo poo. I'm never. I'm not going to say that I've never said the word stinky because in in, in 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 instances where a pun was available that may have relied on that. It's short. funny because, it, but like, but my honest opinion has never been that these people smell bad, but there is a unique smell. Sure. Like yes, okay. 
And the different countries have different smells. Yeah, uh, that's yes, what, but when you travel, you... there's. But that's the thing. It's like if it was just if I was like, oh, brown people all smell the same, that would be racist. Sure. But it's culturally, specifically, if you can say, what is it that that? And there's probably an answer. Some yeah, people it's say from the food they cook. Is house. it though? When you go to your Indian, but friends, I don't smell. It's not like asparagus. Like, Indian... I eat asparagus thirty minutes later. When my you... piss smells like asparagus. But you're, no if one's I eat peeing any... all over their house. I'm talking with. <laughs> I'm if saying I... when you go to your Indian friend's house growing up, and it smells different so than you're your telling house. me. If I ate nothing but Indian food for a month, I would. I would it's smell. not about what you eat. It's about that you're cooking it in the house. Is Pakistani that... cuisine different than than Indian cuisine? It's Punjab. I mean, there, yeah, there's like a there's an overlap, but it's it's a regional overlap. Do you think that caused Punjabi. The, the war? Yes. I mean, it could it have been that it started off with cuisine? I think maybe it's religious. And they're like, well, we have to be a different religion. I maybe these. think it's like Hindu versus Muslim, maybe. But they're like, well, we got to, but there's no way we can be. I'm not going, I'm not going to spend eternity in the same place as these guys. So we have to have a different religion. Because of the food? The smell. Because they're just cooking with a lot of spices, and then your house smells like spices. It's like if you smoke cigs in a house, it smells like cigs. But other people use those spices. Not for every meal. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. If you're having a fucking garam masala for brekkie lunch and dinner every day, mm-hmm. the house is going to smell. But it is funny when a black person, uh, from when someone from black Twitter says, it looked like it smelled crazy in there, and then 500,000 people are like, I will kill you, you bastard. You know, that is funny because you see a cultural exchange that, um, that never really happens uh, naturally in the world that can only exist on the internet, right? So that's, that's funny too. But saying that Pakistan making those memes is good, is good for you. It's not good. I'm not <laughs> that's saying it's what good. I was responding to. No, it's, I say it's vindicated. <laughs> I'm not saying it's good for me, like, oh, I, you know, in my war against the Indians, mm-hmm. which is not how I you feel. You feel like the DNA evidence came out and you had your sentence uh, uh, commuted by the, by, the, by the governor. You were vindicated. You feel like you're outside of the courthouse saying, free at last, free at last. Not to that extent. <laughs> you feel like... <laughs> What's wrong with this? What's wrong? You're deliberately not hearing what I'm saying. I'm hearing what you're saying. You do this often. No. Yeah, you deliberately don't hear what I say. That's what... You don't ever say anything of substance. Mm. Yeah, of course. That's my thing. Okay. I'm 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 no substance out of... I'm like a gas. Yeah. I'm not like a... (laughs) I'm not a solid. Mm -hmm. I float. but I'm like the, the... the cloud of dark matter from... from Everyone the says off. it's the cooking, but I don't... I think it might be something else. What is it? I don't know. Bad attitude? No. Maybe the clothes? I don't know. What do you mean the clothes? They wear shirts and pants? Yeah, but like the, the, the dyes they use or something. I don't know. They invented dyes. Yeah, well, maybe they're, you know... A lot of our clothes that we wear today are, are dyed in India and Pakistan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it's not the same. I guess it was just very interesting for me to see that see Pakistani people saying that Indian people stink. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? You, it is. Again. No, no, it is. It, no, I, it again, is interesting. An hour ago. An hour ago. I literally didn't say that an hour ago. Whatever, sure. We were in the car. We were on You're our reading way to the article. We were on pissed. our way to the coffee shop. You're pissed. We are on our way to the coffee shop. We were walking in the coffee shop, and you say, I, and I said to you, I'm like, it's interesting because in these memes, especially that the one where... And the, I said, they, er, they, all, all of them fellas smell like poo-poo. That's what I said to you? Something along those lines. No, way. I did not, Nick. You don't have to lie on my ass. I mean, come on. You don't have to, you don't have to besmirch my name. I've said plenty out in the open that's fully uh, in the public record that could be fully picked apart and belittled. Mm-hmm. You don't have to... You don't have to uh, Go go off go off. Uh, the, <laughs> you don't have to go off on a side quest. What you're reading more war right now? Yeah, this, this is what people want to hear about. They want to hear about the war. We're do journalists. You? Yeah, of course. We're not journalists, dude. Do you see the numbers people are doing right now? Just getting mad about this thing. They're they're putting 
they're putting up big numbers. I don't. I think we should be madder. Maybe like the, for the show, like we should like kind of have more of a fair and balanced thing, though. Like what? What was that shitty? What was that dog shit fucking show on Fox? The Hannity and Combs. You remember that? Yeah, Hannity used to just <laughs> dunk his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That might have been the worst show ever on yeah. the news. Yeah. Yeah. Combs would be just be like, and I, I yeah. was trying to drop off well, my wife for I'm, you to have sex I'm, with her last I'm, night, and you were late. Well, you know, I'm gay, so I think that uh, I think that, that Barack Obama should fuck my mouth. No, it was like pre-Obama. I think it was like a Bush Yeah, it was. Bush it was era. Yeah, yeah, it was like 2006. Yeah, and then Hannity and Combs, Combs would just get absolutely rocked. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they used to have the. It was like their version of Crossfire, if you yeah. remember. And Crossfire, the libs on Crossfire were also amazing. You remember they got Paul Begala? Uh, no. Yeah, rating 3.2 out of 10 for this show. Hannity and Combs? Yeah. What happened to Al, with Alan Combs? Yeah, Alan Combs. Is he dead? I think he might be dead, yeah. Hannity, Hannity uh, sunned him too heavy? Yeah, he killed himself. All right. Um, oh, no. That's sad, dude. What? Someone kills himself. Especially because of Sean Hannity? Uh, he, no, he was on the Greg Gutfield show. Was he? Is yeah. he alive? No, he died. He did die. Yeah. He killed himself. Oh, my God. Uh, I, can't, I don't know how much more bad news I can take, dude. I'm sad about losing Combs. Yeah, I'm sad about losing a lot. My innocence. Did you say the promo code for this thing? Yeah, like four times, bro. I can't believe you tried that. Let me hang out the dry on that one. Twice. Twice. Unreal. What do you, what, what do you want? What do you need? Huh? What do you need from me? I don't know. You want me to be like a, um, like in a movie scene, like one of the rant, like a, uh, no, you go, it's... it's Like a guy with one line in the movie that's like, That's right, Nick. Good one. What? you know, what the, We, we got to mix it up, dude. This is about exchange of ideas. No, it's about yes and. It's pretty basic format. We've been done professionally for eight years. Yes and? Yeah, yes and. The How many times have you rule. yes anded me? Constantly. You no fuck... Me. If you have a premise, you no know fucked me. If you every time if, and time if again, you, if you actually pitch something that is a joke, and not just saying things, plenty of you just say I things. Plenty of None of them are ever a premise. What was the last premise? What, what is this? What, what is this? When was the last time you said, well, I, "What about this scenario?" I would run with it. I was trying to talk about how Michael Rappaport and I are afraid that we can't we can't be hip hop style Jews and I, he, and it took me twenty minutes to get it out. And what I said, well, and then well, this, no, is it yes it and. this is a yes and. This is a yes and. He's more thing. of like a 90s guy. Right. With, that's not a yes and. Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. If I responded to you he in is that a way, hip -hop you would be like, why are you fucking saying no to everything I say? No, no. But you do say no to everything I say. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, you're you're doing it right now. No, you're you're in one right of those, now. No, you're in one of those. You're 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 baby mood, Nick. Well, baby, right oh right, yeah, that's it. That's you it. are baby, baby mood. mood. That's the problem. You are baby mood. Nick. Sure. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to talk about what happened in the car today? What about happened in the car? When I said, you were like, "There's, it's just bullshit. It's shit. I'm, I'm, I don't care anymore. I don't care." And I was like, "Well, it's kind of fun that we get to like, that we got to like do that shoot this weekend. Like, we get to like make this stuff right now." And what did you say? Well, I, what I say is bullshit that I don't want to talk about anymore is like all of these phone calls and meetings determining who's going to be the liaison with fucking YouTube to deal with the censorship stuff or all of this strategizing that doesn't really amount to anything. That's that's what I'm tired of. You're like, oh, we got to get the social media. Maybe the social media guy. Maybe if he's the editing the show, then that would be different. It's like, I don't fucking, I don't, I don't know. I never said that. Yeah, that no, was the exact that. conversation. That was not the conversation. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't the conversation. You're like, yeah, baby no, we need to Nick. figure out. We need baby to... Moon Nick. You're being Baby Moon Nick. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're like, you're, yes, trying, you are. To, you're trying to go. But I said, I like working on the show. I thought it was pretty cool this weekend. You know? And what did you say? I didn't say anything. You said, it's just so much fucking bullshit. It's all bullshit. You come to the studio, 
one of the th- the cords aren't plugged in correctly. Like yeah, it's just one thing, thing, if not the other thing. There is. There's a lot of stuff that goes wrong. Cameras you're are com- breaking. You're complaining the wires about a cord. You don't not, do any of this stuff. You, you don't were fix anything. You're complaining about a cord that wasn't plugged in correctly, which got fixed no, in one no. second. I was talking about a, a list of things that are just constant. This light's still broken. But why does that even go in a list if the it's cam- just... Because it's not Why just, is that a list? Because it's not just not plugged in correctly. It was broken again this morning when we just went to go do this. And you, you do gonna, this. No, this needs to be fucking. And there's okay, fine, whatever. You then you fix it. I'm not gonna touch anything ever oh, again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, very principled, very principled stance. I'm just saying. I was telling. I was talking to you. I was like, it's really fun when we get to do these kind of things, like what we did on Sunday and what we're doing after this today. And and you were like, it's all fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. It's all bullshit. And I was like, oh, it's baby moon Nick time. It's kind okay. of nice. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah. That's I was trying to look on the bright side right. of things. Guys, don't worry. We're, we love each other. Say it to them. Say what? Tell them we love each other. Oh, yeah. Definitely. No, no, no. Say it. Look into the camera. Tell them. Yeah, guys. We love each other. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> now I know why Combs killed himself. Dude. Why? You feel like you're Combs, I'm Hannity? I'm Combs, definitely. You're having to put up with your bullshit. What do you mean? Constantly. Just all the time. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean my bullshit? Me trying to like see the positive in, in things? What's wrong with that? What is this? There's, there's a difference between seeing the positive and just, uh, just like... Folks, a new episode of the Adam Freeland Show will be out by the end of the week or the beginning of next week, and we're very close on it. And basically what Nick and I are talking about right now is that we were discussing that in the car. I said, yeah, I think we're like, we are like we can do this pretty, like we're not that as far as we think. And you, I, I believe you took exception with that, with that uh, assertion, right? Hmm? You're like, it's fucked. It's all fucked. I didn't say it was fucked. all fucked. No, you did. No, I'm not saying this one, will, yeah, it'll be another... Nice. Four or five days of work to get this one out, which is, is but which it's is fun. fine. No, it's just there's no. Uh, I guess yeah, the, there's no real light at the end of the tunnel for any of this. No, the show's never going to be sold. The money we keep losing money. It's been a year. Oh of, my god, dude! What are you I don't know how much longer it's going to be profitable. <laughs> That's true, man. Yeah, yeah. But beyond that, uh, what do you mean it's never going to be like what, what you? We've made. We've been like making the show in this format for like what? A matter of a couple months now. One year ago, we did an episode with Shane, which was like a live podcast with costumes. The color uh-huh. was dog shit. Do you remember? Like, think about how far we've come since that, Nick. Yeah, no, that's all fine. That's lovely. But I gotta think There's about a lot, like you gotta think. You gotta think about the, uh, you know, like what's sustained. Okay, uh, the Monopoly man hasn't invited us into a fucking limo and given us a check for five hundred million dollars. This is true, but that doesn't mean that like everything is fucked. I'm not saying everything's fucked. It's a, it's a, you, that's, you're misrepresenting my, my complaint. You said there's I would no, like it. Let's, no... No, no, you let's literally just way. said let's there is no light at the end of the let's tunnel. Let's put it this way. A year into it, I would like to not still be dealing with just like technical stuff constantly, all the time. Yeah, sure, it's an annoyance. And the only way that that would be resolved... Is if like you know we could like maybe sell the show or something, and there's but that's just not going to happen. So it's like uh, yeah, there's still going to be a lot of getting on a fucking ladder or doing production stuff. That uh, I think to to expect to sell the show probably six months into like us defining a format for the show is probably is probably a little bit impractical. All right. I mean, and I'm not like naysaying or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, we're doing a great job, buddy. People love Chet. People love Jada Kiss, Cuomo. This next one, I don't think people are going to like. I think I'm really annoying in it. And I think the guy hates me. But you guys are really going to like who the guest is. Um, and I know you don't like when I preach. No, you can do whatever you want. Um, tell him we love each other again. No. We game. already did that bit. It was funny. I guess. You yes-ended it, too, and you said it into the camera. I appreciate that. Sure, yeah. You yes-ended that bit. Mm-hmm. See, there you go. There you go, oh. buddy. MyBookie.com. 
Yeah, I guess so. MyBookie.ag, right? That's correct. Where, when your money's on the line, choose a trusted sports book that gives you the tools to win, like MyBookie. Is that right? Yeah, you're. I mean, you got. What is the fight that they want us to promote? I'm looking for it now. Um, at my bookie, it doesn't matter if your team is up or down. You can easily cash out or bet the game live to come out on the winning side. Use my bookie for daily odds boosts, same game parlays, and take advantage of huge prize pools. Plus, my bookie has a no strings attached cash bonus that lets you deposit and withdraw quick. Just use promo code TAFS on your first deposit and receive up to two hundred dollars in cash. That's promo code T. AFS uh, to claim your own cash bonus now. Try my bookie. Uh, try the my bookie money bag to grab a potential Super Bowl front runner at a long at long shot odds. Thirty eight hundred plus thirty eight thousand. Sorry, on the Eagles and Chiefs. That's fucking insane. Uh, you won't find odds like odds like that anywhere else. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. Only with my bookie. And there's a big fight coming up. Yeah, the Tyson Fury fight. Do you know about this? He's fighting uh, 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 Nganu. Yeah. I'm Nganu. Gonna, I'm going to say that. Francis Nganu. Yes. Yes. Um, is it in boxing or MMA? It has to be in boxing. Um, let's see. Former heavyweight champion of uh, UFC, Francis Nganu, is fighting Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. You know I'm a big Gypsy King fan. Do you know Tyson Fury, Nick? Do you know He said name? British, like... Uh, He's a Gypsy. He's it? like, I, he's like, I can't read. I'm ugly. Oh. I'm fat. He's great. Yeah. He's like, I'm fat. I'm ugly. He's like uh, John Fetterman. He's yeah. He's like kind of the John Fetterman, but like if John Fetterman just whopped everyone. People are mad at John Fetterman right now. He's going heavy Israel. Uh yeah. My bookie guys. Can he speak yet? Is he still? Um, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't heard him speak. He's got a crazy look. That guy. Yeah. He has that um Cro Magnon like eye uh eyebrow ridge thing. Yeah. Well he looks like Sling Blade. I mean it's crazy. Yeah, but he looks more like like a prehistoric. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He looks like early man. Um yeah, people are mad at him for what? For like uh kicking out Palestinian activists from his office or something? I think so, yeah. Yeah. But he didn't do it. His fucking chief of staff did. I haven't really paid attention. But people are like, oh, I knew he was bad. Everyone knew? Yeah. No, they're all bad, guys. They're all bad. Um, Yeah, I mean, like, apropos of uh, our conversation before, Nick, typically in a, in a, in a product, production cycle or the creative process, this is the, this is the moment, this last, like, couple-day run-up where we start stressing and tearing each other down as 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 men, you know? And that's just part of the process. As well. What does that have to do with my bookie? I just said the promo code and everything. Okay, I was just explaining to the audience. You talk about this money bag line. I did, yeah. The money line. You guys know how that works? It's crazy. You pay. They get a $500 limit. Yes. But then you ran, they randomize your odds. So they randomize your odds. They choose a team for you, and they give you... Uh, they give you like insane odds, and if your team wins at the end of, it's like kind of like a you go like a spin a wheel, and then you get a team, and then they give you like plus thirty eight thousand, and if you put five hundred dollars down, then that's uh, goes. What is that? That's what's thirty eight times five. What are your chances of? So what's like the what's the best? What are the what are the I guess worst odds in the entire? NFL. That's the those odds are the best odds. No, I'm saying like what's the what is the the what are the odds for the shittiest team in the NFL? What's who's the rank lowest? I mean, that would be like something like 38,000. 38,000. So they give you like if you get the Chiefs who are one of the best teams or the the Eagles who just had another stunning victory this weekend. And there's 32 teams. There are 32 teams, I believe. Oh, I say one in 32 odds. So those odds are one in 32 is uh I don't know. Is a three three percent probability. Okay, but but that being said, 
the individual teams themselves don't just have a three percent chance. Like some have. And that's a much what I'm saying. Chance. I'm trying to figure yeah. out what your your odds are. The weighted odds. I guess if it's randomized, then it is one in thirty-two because you don't get to choose a team. Right. right? Yeah. But if you know, if you end up getting the Eagles, you know, um, then that you know outweighs like what it would be like to get a shit team. Yeah. You know. Um. So yeah, that's that's kind of a that's a smart money play. Yeah. I suppose. Um, Do you but, think they're going to cancel the World Series because of Gaza? It's such boring teams, too. Yeah, no. Diamondbacks, Rangers. They should cancel the World Series if it's gay. <laughs> if it's gay, teams. <laughs> yeah, if it's like gay. I don't think it's been cool since 2001 Diamondbacks, Yankees. Yeah. That was that was the best baseball has ever the been. snakes and the fucking... Well, it was after 9-11. Italians. It was after 9-11. That would be a, that would be an awesome matchup. Snakes versus Italians. Just put some guido in a, t- in a pit with a bunch of cobras. Yeah, and just tell him he, he's only allowed to punch. Yeah, he's like, what do you got? You got a fucking problem? <laughs> ah, fuck. Ah. <laughs> You're just getting them? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, fuck. And you can bet Yo, on I'm that. I'm getting really pissed off. You can bet on that at mybookie.ag, guys. Um, yeah, no, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's I, I'm not interested in baseball in general, but what does one to thirty three odds mean? Odds versus probability. Note that odds and probability are not the same. Are you learning betting right now? I'm learning basic math percentages. I always forget. Uh, yeah, it's like a like a roulette wheel, guys. So mybookie.ag, you can bet on. Yeah, promo code TAFS. TAFS, yeah. They're, we got a big fight. I'm going Tyson Fury. You're going Tyson Fury? You're going Francis Naganu. And the fe- it's Fetterman versus Fetterman Palestine. versus Africa. Yeah, really strong guy from Is he from Nigerian? Africa. I think he's Nigerian. Yeah. yeah. Um, His punches are really strong. Yeah. Yeah. They're really powerful punches. But he's a MMA guy. He's not a boxer. Mm-hmm. And Tyson has the heart of a lion. Does he? Yeah, he's amazing. He's incredible. Yeah, he does have John Fetterman's. Yeah. And his body's very cool. He's got like a dumpy body. He's super tall. Why does he have these shorts? Let me see. <laughs> What are his shorts look like, Dad? <laughs> Show the camera. <laughs> well, they wear shorts high because they like because of the undercut or um, low, low blows. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean that's that's not he's not going in the ring like that, is he? I think he. Yeah, he looks like shit. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, he's he's got no drip. Actually, he dresses pretty cool outside the ring. He wears like um, like Gucci shit and like. He dresses like a Italian pimp sometimes. He looks cool. Yeah. But we're going Tyson. We're going Gypsy King on this one. Manchester Zone. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. How oh, boxer fought back from a day. Di- oh, he was addicted to something. What was he addicted to? Um, looks like Girl Scout cookies. Oh yeah, he he beats off a ton. Ooh. He said he's addicted to beating off. You could bet on that at mybookie.ag. Yeah, yeah. Just look up how many times a day he beats off. Um, struggles with addiction. Was he addicted to beating off? Is that right? I'm looking. He was also depressed, too. Yeah. What are you... Huh? How many times a day does he jerk off? I don't see it, and it's not in this article. I'm going to look it up right now. All right. I'm going to talk about this. Holmes uh, died of cancer. I'm going to talk about this Al Jazeera thing. Will you look it up? All right. Al Jazeera used to have mail. Used to have what? They used to have mail. They used to be able to have... I had an Al Jazeera email address. Before Gmail? Yeah. People forget that. You had at Al Jazeera? At Al Jazeera. I had Hotmail. Yeah, Al Jazeera. He they, says he, he masturbates seven to eight times a day, and that's the secret success to his box. I, I just remember that I had an Al Jazeera email account. Yeah. Al Jazeera free email 
address. Let's see if there's anything, any relics on the internet. Yeah. Should we go to Qatar? I hear it's boring. Yeah, there's nothing really to do there, I think. Yeah, it's like a big mall. It's like, yeah, you can like go to like uh, Louis Vuitton mm -hmm. and then drink in like a like one bar. I'm one getting I, I, I'm getting ready to leave America. Where are you going to go, though? I don't know. Fuck this country. No one wants you, though. Why? Because we are an American. No one likes us. Yeah, but I'm an artist. <laughs> it's true. You are an artist. <laughs> you know what would be would get you into another country? If you um, were a pedophile, you go, the French would be like, bravo. Also, Israel, right? I've seen that going around. Did they just take sex offenders? Do they? I don't know. I've seen that all over Twitter this week. I remember Meyer Lansky tried to go there at the end. When, so, like, he was some getting, of the, the stuff. The FBI was trying to get his ass, and Israel denied his. Uh, yeah, some of the stuff I see it, I'm like, all right, is this really one of the stories you should be sharing? I don't know. Because that seems like a separate issue. There seems like a lot of stories. Yeah, yeah. That seems, Sometimes you got you to gotta do one Let's do one time. thing at a time. Yeah, don't yeah. do genocide. Yeah, yeah. If we stop the genocide, maybe after that we can take a look at the pedophile thing. Yeah, but yeah. But for right now, you gotta you gotta have a priorities list. Mm -hmm. You know, it's also it's not like they're letting the pedophiles go to Gaza. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's only hurting them. No, yeah, it's it's about immigration policy for Jews. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and extradition. Right? Mm -hmm. They don't extradite in Israel. Um. No, they do. They do extradite. Yeah, they. But why are these pedophiles allowed to go there then? Um, I don't know. I just read that. They don't extradite. They do extradite for everyone unless you're a pedophile. Yeah, I think that's... It's like France. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like, like France. France. It is like France. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh my God, he's an artist. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Did you see Woody at uh, Venice Film Festival? Mm -mm. He got like a 20-minute standing ovation for the new movie. He's just sitting there like... He's sitting there like, he's like wow, thank you no. so much. And they were like... Ah. You are incredible. Really? Yeah. Europeans love him and Polanski. You know, I've never been to a film festival. I've never seen a film festival. But when I hear about these standing ovations, uh, it's, I'm like, that sounds like the most embarrassing thing I've ever. It's so European. Can you imagine clapping it's, in a movie? It's so European. Yeah. yeah. For 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to clap. At or a, not even that. The walkouts, too. When they're like, this is a travesty. Yeah. yeah. When people like can get mad at a movie, can't you just like something or not? Just like sit something? there, watch the movie, go home. Yeah, have some snacks. Movie. Good, yeah. Yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, you're supposed to just sit there and chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so European. Yeah, to be furious or or like about to come from yeah. like a what like a, a light comedy. Well, that's why because they don't have they they can't they're not Europeans aren't good at extracting anything out of life. Right. You know, Americans are good at that. That's why they have to oh art. A cinema, I have this transcendent experience that I have to clap at. Yeah. So whereas here, we got fireworks, you can blow shit up, you can kill your neighbor with a gun. Uh -huh. We know how to live. Yeah. You know, so they... They have to just like, yeah. They don't have that. They have to yeah. cry at things. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> they have to cry. They have to <laughs> weep. They have and, to cry. Oh, a cinema, they oh make me God. feel... Yeah, no. It make me feel alive for the first time. Can you imagine a French guy seeing a monster truck rally? Blow his fucking mind. Yeah. yeah. What would he make of it? I don't know. Israel should do that. Honestly, that's the way to win back half of half of this country. Just get into redneck shit. Well, no. I mean, just drive fucking gravedigger through Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> just crush. People would be like, this is horrific, but you got to watch the video. Uh, it's kind of awesome. You got to watch the video. I mean, I'm against it, but the video is crazy. I was, it would win me back, honestly. If the IDF just fucking cruised right down the middle of the Gaza Strip with with Bigfoot oh 7, God. whatever the, the newest. They make the biggest monster truck in the world. What's the biggest one now? I don't know. It's like Bigfoot 5 or 6. Oh, it's... it's yeah, they they go after the Cold War ended. I guess they went they went over to the Soviet Union. and They found tires bigger than any. There's these big tires that the Soviets did, <laughs> and they made a truck out of that. I watched this like History Channel thing the other day about this tank the Nazis were trying to make, which was the biggest tank of all time. Yeah, but it would like run out of gas and like it would like had like a yeah. five mile like it would have to be refueled every like five miles yeah but it was like it was massive yeah i've seen that yeah they're like mega that was like one of those things i when i was a kid 
Yeah, it's one of those History Channel things of like secret Nazi technology revealed. Yeah. yeah. They love the Nazis. Aaron had that book on his couch. Who? Aaron. Oh, don't tell them. Well, they don't know who that is. Yeah. Yeah. This guy that we met this weekend. He's like, I've read all of these books. He's like, I'm incredibly into, I'm very political. He kept saying I'm very political, but he didn't indicate what um, his politics Mm -hmm. were, which I kind of liked. Yeah. But all his books were like Nazi secrets revealed, and it was like clearly self. Oh, yeah. It was a self. No, it was like book. card tricks for dummies. Yeah, it was like a, half of his books were self published, yeah. like from like a man with schizophrenia on the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, let's 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 do, let's shoot. All right. Well, we gotta get this. I gotta get this string out done so we know what we have to all shoot right. around. Show Ginsburg what you did last night. Let's shoot. Okay. All right. I might. We're need, gonna have a good rest of the day. I might need a little treat or Go something. Go have it. You just had a treat. Why are you? Why are you eating your feelings? Nick, we're gonna have a good rest of the day. I haven't vaped. I haven't vaped in a over That's a week. That's what it is. That's what all this is. It's just va- nicotine withdrawal. I haven't vaped in a week. Okay, so it's nicotine withdrawal. Right. I love you. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why don't? It's so exhausting that like continuously have to prove my love to someone. Well, it's a bizarre thing to say. I mean, I don't love you. Before. What is love? Parties. Stop! You always that's your you love that's your fucking just, going yeah, back to the fucking well. We're business partners. Anytime you're being a little bit like oh like sexy, you're like oh, but you're just my business partner. You're a business partner. Fuck you. Fuck you.